founded in 1975. Arts Boston is a nonprofit art service organization whose mission is to support and grow the arts and culture sec sector of Greater Boston. This year marks the 14th year that Arts Boston has collaborated with the Mayor's Office and the Greater Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau on the Mayor's Holiday Special Campaign, which is designed to shine a light on arts and cultural events that take place in Greater Boston during the holiday season and ensure they are accessible to all. The Mayor's Holiday Special offers thousands of great deals to more than 500 mostly holiday performances, as well as dining experiences and online calendar of free holiday events across the city. So who better than Arts Boston Executive Director Katherine Peterson to tell us more about the many cultural shows and activities happening in Boston this year for the holidays. Katherine, welcome to Urban Update. Great to have you here. Thanks for coming in. Great to be here. All right, let's begin with the uh, little more information on what the Mayor's Holiday special is. What it is is a promotion that Arts Boston puts together with uh, the mayor at the City of Boston and also our friends at the Convention and Visitors Bureau and also the wonderful Highland Street Foundation because we all know that there are wonderful holiday shows and concerts uh, that families and friends who live in Boston want to experience and we want to make it as easy as possible for them to know what's going on and to be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. Now, what type of uh, fun shows are we talking about? We're talking about uh, wonderful holiday shows like The Nutcracker, including Urban Nutcracker, with, which Tony Williams does, which uses the traditional Tchaikovsky score, but does it in the jazz arrangement by Duke Ellington in a Boston setting. So you'll see it with a Sitco sign in different Boston neighborhoods, Jose Mateo Ballet Theater's Nutcracker, both at the Strand and and at Cutler Majestic, Elf the Musical uh, at the Wang Theater. Um, so all sorts of different holiday offerings um, and also of course Black Nativity, which is one of my favorites. Wow, now how, how can people get tickets? People can get tickets by going online to mayorsholiday.com and also to our two Bostick spoofs for the day of performance at Copley Square and Faneuil Hall Marketplace. And you can also sign up for emails at Mayor's Holiday because we're adding shows and adding more tickets every day. Talk to me about the importance of all of this to the local economy. Boy, what a great question. It's huge. Um, four times as many people go to the arts in Boston as go to our four major sports teams. And we know what a big sports town we are, but you know what? Boston is a big arts town, and that number of people who come to the arts translates into dollars and in our economy. So the nonprofit art sector in Boston is a billion dollar industry every year. Wow. Imagine uh, a lot of family memories made at uh, many of these events and shows. You bet. And it's interesting because what we hear from people who um, go to shows through Mayor's Holiday is that they see it as a way of giving memories, of giving holidays holiday memories for life rather than stuff. So you can bring your kids, you can bring your family to go see um, go see uh, a wonderful uh, holiday concert or show. You can also bring your kids to that week between Christmas and New Year's where it can be a little tough when they've got that school vacation week. And you can bring them to um, Puppet Showcase, you can bring them to Disney on Ice, um, you can bring them to Charlotte's Web at American Repertory Theater. There are all sorts of wonderful things that you can share that you're gonna remember um, when you know the gifts are, are distant memory, perhaps, of other presents. Now, you talked about uh, the, 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 the magnitude in terms of all the, the people going to these shows. Are there any numbers on that? Do you know how many folks attend these shows? You know what? Uh, we actually have um, 18 million people who go to the arts in Greater Boston every year, and we know that the, the really busiest time of the year is during the holidays. So it's when there are so many nutcrackers, messiahs, Christmas carols. So it's a huge number of people who go during the holiday period. Where does Boston rank in terms of culture and uh, performances like these? It seems like we're a pretty uh, thriving uh, area here. We are actually. And I think when you put together the number of shows, 
Boston as a city has more nonprofit arts organizations per capita than any other city outside of New York. And when you add that to the fact that we've started so many holiday arts traditions here, you think of Black Nativity, which has the longest run of Black Nativity, Langston Hughes' beautiful song poem. That's here in Boston. We started Christmas Revels here in Boston. We started the Holiday Pops. Um, there's so many holiday traditions that Boston can claim. And my favorite new thing I've just heard about Boston was that um, Christmas Revels was named one of the top 10 holiday events in the U.S. by Travel and Leisure magazine. So that's, that's something impressive. that we can really claim, and I think that I think that reflects on a lot of other great holiday shows in, in Boston. Now, you also have a, a number of shows that don't have a holiday theme, isn't that correct? That's right. It's everything from Blue Man Group to Tartuffe at the Huntington Theater, uh, Man of La Mancha at uh, New Rep. Uh, there are wonderful things, so, you know, there is something for everybody, and if you need a little break, if you're a little Grinch-like, whatever, um, we've got something for you at Mary's Holiday. What do you want to say to everyone out there, people who may not uh, think about take, taking in the arts, you know, I mean, with themselves, their friends, their families? They're it's, really, really missing something. It's, it's a way to share something that you really are going to remember with your friends and family for years to mm -hmm. come, and it's a way to find some peace and quiet, it's a way to laugh, you might have a couple tears occasionally. Whatever you're looking for, you're going to be able to find it um, in a theater or a concert hall in Boston this holiday season. And let's remind everyone where they can get more information and tickets. At mayorsholiday.com and at our two Boston Spoos at Copley Square in Fanny Hall Marketplace. Okay, well, it sounds like they have a great holiday season lineup for everybody, you know, so get out there and enjoy it. And I'll see you at the theater then. Okay, Catherine Peterson of Arts Boston, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Okay, and break a leg with your holiday season this year, Thank all you. those shows. Okay, well, that's it for this edition of Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. For all of us here at Urban Update, have a great Sunday, everyone.